All right, fishing too real here. So today, what we're gonna be doing is making surf weights. So the spider weights that most people use, where the prongs come on the outside and, and it sticks into the sand better. So that's what we're doing today. Um, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some vice grips, a pair of gloves, a Dremel. They are called the duck weights. Basically, they they hold the decoy ducks. You're gonna need some wire. You can go. Um, all the way to the A, the A, W, G like I did. A piece of copper pipe, just like this. A piece of copper pipe, just like this. Um, this is a three-fourths. So what I did was I actually took all the impurities out of the duck weights lid. And this is just pure lead now. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to cut it. You're going to cut it on both sides. And then you're going to open up and you're, we're going to do our pouring in there. So now what we're gonna do, we got our, our cutter on here. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut the, cut the plate. you cut it in half and it is hot so make sure you uh you don't just go ahead and grab it make sure you have some gloves on hand cut it and then we'll be able to put it together we're gonna fill this mold we're gonna use these vice grips right here we're gonna use the vice grips hold it closed while we're pouring and then we'll uh, go ahead and show you exactly what we're gonna do with it. Now, once you've gotten your your pieces of pipe cut, the board. So you're gonna need a board. It doesn't have to be super thick, but you do you do need a board to make sure that um, when you're pouring the the lead it doesn't go or burn through anything. All right, go ahead and hook up the the hot pot too, heat some lead up, and then we'll start pouring. So make sure you wear a mask when you're pouring this light. And so we have our, our wire and everything set up here. Uh, got the vice grips holding the, the copper pipe together. Got the copper wire in there. And uh, the loop that you can see in there as well. Um, so let's go ahead and pour. Right now, making 
sure that it gets filled up not too much we don't want it too heavy but we don't want it too light either uh, the next one might be a little lighter that's looking like it's hardening pretty good take that off Once you get that off So still wear your gloves and probably a lot easier when you got to give you some get you go ahead and get your vice grips and just kind of pry them apart just like so. made now what I did mess up on here is that this one is not inside and neither is this one so you you do need to have them angled in a bit so you see how that just came out and this one will as well if I can get it out, yeah that one will as well but this one over here won't and neither will this one ends curve well that's just to hold it on you can always curve them out pull them back out once you pull them back out once you pull them back out you then have your, uh, your spider weight now these aren't the best ones but this is the first one just on film we'll we'll uh go ahead and start making some more all right so the way we're doing things now are what we we're doing is to make it more secure we're getting the ends just the very end of it and we're curling it that's into like a little l shape once we get into the l shape go to the top bend it over just like we did it before crimping it down just enough so it doesn't slide one where when we put this down in there just like so and once we got that there so this is the weight holder where it attaches to the line crimp that down as tight as we can and now we have like this these two edges here stick that down in there just like so we're gonna get some of our lead drop that down in there we can move that over a little bit so we can see when that when that melts. All right, so our lead is all heated up, nice and liquidy in there. We're just gonna go ahead and pour it. Fill it up about where I think it'll be or what's left. Move that away. gonna let that go ahead and settle now this is where you just go ahead take the clamps off everything is still hot so you want to get you some some pliers or other pair of vice grips I always I have these small pliers I mean these small vice grips and what you want to do is just kind of pull it off just like that move that down and there you have it you got your surf weight 
your prongs it is still hot so but you got your prongs you can you can pull out you can straighten these out now you can always go lighter wire this is some heavy duty wire that I it was all that was at Home Depot you can always go lighter wire if you want or need to Out of there, but that's okay. And there you have it. You got your your surf weight all done up. All right, so we're gonna try this for the, the last time. This is the third one. Just three different types of ways that I want to try. Um, and this one, I'll show you exactly what happened. What I did with this one. I think this one might actually end up working the best. That's what I'm, I'm thinking. Thinking it's gonna work the best. But looks as if I might, I might need some more. Oh, that's all of it. Looks like I'm gonna need some more. Need some these scraps. Yeah. Not a little faster. Well, well, these are all stylet pieces of wire. Well, one's in more of a W and the other one's in just a U. And I put them together and that is how they are in there together. So I'm hoping that I can really get this, this lead in the little spaces of the wire. And if I can, then that'll be perfect. And I think the next time I do this, I'm gonna use actually smaller wire. I think smaller wire will work a lot better. So we'll see. Let the lead melt. too heavy I want it decently heavy but I don't want it too heavy either so I think that's a good amount of weight in there it's probably about a three ounce weight definitely for a heavier rod um, so we'll see how that that turns out we're gonna go ahead and get this this clamp this clamp off here Let's see what we got take that off boom boom and man, those came off way easier. It looks better. Wish I could really weigh these out. Might have to compare them to my other weights. And once again, they are hot. I can feel it to the gloves. So, let me just bend these out. Just like so. Got you some perfectly good surf weights ready to go. And uh, now you can also twist the top so it doesn't slide down. Or you can always get you a real good set of pliers like these. Crimp it to where it don't slide it doesn't slide down any farther than that. And uh, you got yourself a good surf weight right there. Boom. So I made this one. It was supposed to have four, but as you see, those indentions they had came out. This is the second one I made. It has three. This is the original one that I made. That has all four. It looks way better compared to the other ones. The stems aren't bent. Looks good. I think it's about a three ounce weight. The fourth one I made. This one's about a two ounce weight, maybe two and a half. So I'm pretty proud of this one. This one's pretty perfect as far as the surf weight goes. Um, but uh, so I'm gonna make some more. But you know, as always, keep fishing real.